All right, yo, yo, what up, gang? All right, so today I'm gonna try to put the uh, grill on. And I've, I've never done this before, so oh, on this car, I've done it on the Cadillac CTS and I had a grill on my Hummer at one time, but I took it off. So I'm gonna try to put the grill on the GA. So first, I'm gonna pop the hood because on the Cadillac, I had to take a whole bunch of stuff off. And I don't know how much I have to take off on the GA yet, but I guess I'll see. So the way it's looking right now, I'm gonna have to take the bumper off. I I think I'm just gonna take the whole bumper off and put the grill on the bumper, the grill kit on the bumper, and then actually just place the bumper back on the car. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take, uh, hold up, before I go on, I have these on not for the style, not cause they beats or whatever, it's because my gloves probably won't be able to go on my touch screen and answer the phone as fast as it would be if I had the gloves off. So I keep these on just in case I get a phone call, I can answer the phone call, still continue working and not be interrupting as much. So um, we're gonna take off the screws from on top of here. There's fasteners behind the wheel well. There's uh, clips under the headlights, clips under this headlight, fasteners behind this wheel well, and there are screws right on top of here. Once I get those off, I should be able to just um, take off the turn signals and the fog lights. And after that, it should pull right off. So let's get right to it. So we got the grill off. Well, we got the bumper off. We got the grills out. <laughs> and it looks uh, pretty simple to install. We just got to make sure the screws are long enough to go through the honeycomb part of the stock grill. And fasten these on reinstall the grill and hopefully it looks good all right so i didn't run into a problem everything's going as planned but you see how you can see the honeycomb through the grill i don't like that um so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to get some sort of like black mesh film that'll fit behind this part of the grill so all you see is the mesh grill and not the honeycomb right part behind so the mesh grill to also allow airflow to go through and also uh it'll delete basically seeing the black original honeycomb grill if i can't do that i'll have to cut this grill out and reinstall this so i'd rather not cut this out and try to keep this and also disguise it with that black mesh film or whatever that is that goes on the bottom when you plant a garden or whatever. So as soon as I get that, I'll be, be able to uh, finish the uh, install. All right, gang, here goes the finished project. Well, halfway finished. We got the grill on and as you can see, you can't see directly through the grill to the uh, factory mesh or the honeycomb mesh factory grill so the overlay grills look more uh original i guess i would say what y'all think man as you can see you can't see the honeycomb grill through there you can't see it you can't see it. you can't see the old honeycomb grill through there it looks like i literally disassembled the entire factory grill to put the custom chrome grill on. That's exactly how I wanted it to look. There we go.